you're now ready to take on the intermediate level of Deloitte Money Ace. Welcome to Module 5. In this module, we'll cover insurance and the importance of building an emergency fund. Financial protection is essential for safeguarding yourself and your family, helping you establish security and build stability in the face of unexpected expenses. We'll discuss the basics, such as types of insurance that young adults like you should consider, as well as the importance of building an emergency fund and how to do so effectively. Financial protection comes in a variety of forms, the most essential one being insurance. It reduces risks and shields people or businesses from financial harm. Insurance can be purchased for a variety of coverage types, such as, health insurance can help pay for medical expenses, such as doctor visits, hospital stays, prescription drugs, and other health-related costs. Health insurance plans come in many variations. As a student, your parents probably have you as a dependent on their health insurance plan, whether health maintenance organization, preferred provider organization, or exclusive provider organization, among others. Homeowner's insurance can help protect your home, belongings, and liability in cases of fires, theft, vandalism, and other losses of use. However, homeowner's insurance don't typically include damages caused by floods and earthquakes, routine wear and tear, and owner's negligence. Auto insurance can help cover the costs of car accidents, including repairs, medical expenses, and legal fees. Life insurance typically comes in three forms. 1. Whole life insurance, which provides lifelong coverage as long as the premiums are paid. 2. Term life insurance, which covers only a specific period of time. And 3. Savings and investment linked life insurance, which combines either whole life or term life insurance with returns on investment options. Different types of insurance policies offer protection against different types of losses, but they all share the same goal, to protect the insured from financial harm. Financial protection is a crucial component of your overall financial plan, so make sure to choose the right coverage for your personal needs. To give you a clear picture on how your finances can be protected, let's look at how Mei Ling secures hers. She had recently been feeling a bit worried about her financial security. She knew that having insurance and emergency funds would be a smart move, but she wasn't sure which route to take. After doing some research and talking to some trusted advisors, she started by listing out all the risks she'd be facing if she didn't have insurance and emergency funds set up. She thought about her career, her family, her home, and other areas of her life that could be affected by a lack of financial security. She then looked at the various options she had for insurance comparing the costs of different policies and the types of coverage available, as well as different options for setting up an emergency fund. After carefully reviewing all the available options, Mei Ling was able to make an informed decision with the knowledge that she's doing the best she could to protect herself and her family. Lastly, Mei Ling was vigilant against scams and made sure to do her research before making any investments or purchases. By following these tips, Mei Ling was confident that she was taking the right steps to financial security. That's all for now, congratulations for completing the first module of intermediate level. Managing your personal finances effectively means safeguarding your assets and making plans for unforeseen circumstances. Stay tuned on the next Deloitte Money Ace video on understanding credit scores. See you soon.